like the charm of, of this area, love the big oak trees um, and, and the role of the land. Um, it's predominantly a cattle ranching area, farming area too as well. We had a 110 year old farmhouse um, uh, and a 100 year old barn too as well and that's what we love this place for. And so we wanted to build a barn because we needed some place to expand. We wanted to expand not only just uh, um, to store our uh, tractors and trailers and things like that, but we also needed some more livable space because the farmhouse was so small. The reason why we chose Sand Creek Post and Beam was we were looking for something that fit uh, what we already had. Um, by building a metal barn was just not going to do it. I looked and looked and looked uh, locally and couldn't find anybody that that really had what I needed. So I went looking out on the internet and um, the Sand Creek site continued to keep coming up on my searches. They just had everything that I needed. Um, I ordered a catalog uh, uh, and uh, they sent it to me and it basically had uh, everything that I needed to do but they also had the flexibility for me to um, do what I wanted to do. And so working with them, I was able to um, basically customize basically two barns and put them together um, in a manner such that uh, fit everything that I needed to do. My barn is uh, in the shape of a T and basically what I did is I took two barns that uh, Sand Creek had in their catalog and brought them together. Um, it's a two-story barn and it's about 1,250 square foot downstairs uh, and obviously upstairs is about the same dimensions. Uh, and then I have about a, a 400 square foot porch on that. Uh, I like the old uh, things and so um, the Sand Creek Farm is really kind of a, a throwback from the past and, and uh, you know something that I could build um, and it'll be here long after I'm gone and um, my kids will think of me when I build it because it's not just some uh, metal barn that was built um, that's not going to last very long. My farm is a weekend place and we love coming up here on the weekends, basically spend the weekends up here. And so um, it's not too far out of town or, or where we're from and so we love inviting people and there's always things, uh, festivals and things that happen out here. And so we like to bring people up here and I like to hunt too. And so um, every time that we have a, somebody, a lot of people up here, it's, it's so hard to find something um, uh, to gather and so um, putting this barn up helps us. Uh, be able to do that. I, I love the uh, the doors. I can open and shut so I can manage the temperature uh, uh, with people inside it too as well. It's pretty easy. I mean really it's you know you stand it up and you put wood on the side and you know it just goes up and it made sense. So uh, there really wasn't a lot of directions but there didn't have to be directions and the guy that put it up for me, the general contractor, they were just smiling from ear to ear because they had never you know, they're used to putting up just house after house after house with two by four, you know, framing and things like that. This was something that they just thoroughly enjoyed, um, and uh, you know, they etched their their initials into the into the, the beams of the woods just to, you know because they just thought it was really special. So I mean, they got a lot out of what they did here too, as well as as well as I did.